In this short video, I'm going to talk about the top 11 foods to avoid if you want to live a long and healthy life and reduce your chances of getting chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, and cancer. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a nutritionist and a health coach. Make sure you subscribe to not miss out on any of my future videos. So there are foods that we should eat to live a long and healthy life. And there are foods that we should avoid at any cost. And the foods that we should avoid are far more important. We often tend to think that all foods are safe and healthy and we can eat everything in moderation. But the amount of harmful ingredients, endless list of food additives and poor practices in the food industry, the feed that animals are fed, make me question how are these foods sold to people with so much research out there proving their harmful effects. There are tons of foods that you should avoid, but in this short video, I'll share the top 11 worst foods to avoid. These are the foods that you should never eat again. So the first food on my list of foods to avoid is vegetable oils and products such as margarine. Years ago, everyone used to eat ghee, butter and lard, and everyone was doing great. These are whole natural fats that are minimally processed and they mostly have only one ingredient. And very recently, only around 60 years ago, food companies convinced the whole world to switch to refined vegetable oils. Is there anything wrong with these vegetable oils? Vegetable oils are rich in omega-6 inflammatory fats. The polyunsaturated fats found in vegetable oils are easy to oxidize. In this form, they are more dangerous to the body tissues and can trigger inflammation that is involved in most common chronic health conditions. Just for a second, let's compare butter and margarine. The ingredient list tells us a lot. Butter is a natural whole food that is good for us, and margarine, with an endless list of ingredients that don't sound anything like food, is extremely toxic. And if you're concerned about saturated fat, LDL cholesterol and heart disease, I have a whole separate video where I review the scientific literature on this topic. Conclusion: Stay away from margarine and vegetable oils and stick with natural whole foods. Next on the list of foods to avoid is refined flour products. What's wrong with refined flour products? Wheat flour and products made of it are high in refined carbohydrates that are broken down into sugar. High sugar and insulin are at the root cause of most common chronic health conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, cancer, dementia, heart disease, and so on. In addition, refined flour products will make you more likely to overeat, as refined carbs block satiety, increase hunger and cravings, and cause energy crashes, and it definitely contributes to weight gain. And in addition, if that wasn't enough, Refined flour products contain gluten and various other inflammation-causing molecules that damage our bodies. After you eat some refined flour products containing gluten, it activates intestinal permeability. What that means? Your food is basically leaking through your gut, causing a terrible immune response. And eating products containing gluten affects everyone, even people who don't have celiac disease. In addition, a chemical compound called alloxan that is formed in flour during the bleaching process has been linked with autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes. In conclusion, refined flour products are definitely not good for your health. And if you stack your plate with these types of foods, you often miss out on healthy nutrient-dense foods such as vegetables. Then the next on the list of the worst foods is high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is one of the most common ingredients in processed foods. High fructose corn syrup is an alternative to simple sugar. However, it's even worse than sugar. It causes insulin resistance, fat accumulation in the liver, weight gain, and all the health conditions that come with insulin resistance. Also, excess fructose may increase harmful substances called advanced glycation end products, AGEs. AGEs are harmful compounds that are formed when protein or fat combined with sugars such as fructose or glucose in the bloodstream. This process is called glycation. AGEs are shown to produce reactive oxygen species, leading to inflammation and cellular damage. 
These harmful compounds promote diseases and faster aging, and studies show fructose tends to glycate at a higher rate than glucose. So it's a good idea to stay away from fructose and high fructose corn syrup. It's not as healthy as we once thought. Then next on the list of top 11 foods to avoid is artificial sweeteners. Diet sodas are the most common source of these, but some people also use these sweeteners at home as a sugar replacement. These artificial sweeteners include aspartame, acesulfame potassium, sucralose, and a few others. Artificial sweeteners have been linked with type 2 diabetes, cancer, and obesity. And there was a recent study that found that drinking diet soda makes you three times more likely to get dementia or a stroke. Also, diet sodas were found to cause brain shrinking. I remember as a nutrition student, I was taught that diet sodas are good for us. They're obviously not. If you're a big fan of diet sodas and you need something fizzy, try out organic low sugar kombucha, which is this healthy probiotic drink. Next on the list, foods containing MSG, monosodium glutamate. Foods such as crisps, ready meals, soups, processed meats, and instant noodles. MSG is what got me interested in nutrition when I was around 14. I saw this story on TV where a food scientist was explaining about how MSG is added to any processed foods to make them taste delicious, even if it's out-of-date meat. And there were some real cases when people were selling out-of-date meat with added MSG. That's pretty disgusting. MSG is this neurotoxic food additive. It overexcites and kills neurons. It makes you want to eat more. It also raises your insulin to really high levels. And insulin is an anabolic hormone that makes everything grow bigger. It's involved in obesity, diabetes, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. We need to keep our insulin low. So if you haven't yet, definitely stop consuming MSG-containing foods. And let me know in the comments below if you are consuming any of the foods that I recommend to avoid. And if you're enjoying my content so far, consider subscribing to not miss out on any of my future videos. Then next on the list of the top foods to avoid is farm-raised fish such as salmon. I know, right? You've been told that salmon is really healthy. Well, it's healthy if you buy it wild. One study found that the contaminants in farm-raised salmon are significantly higher in PBDEs, which are toxins that bioaccumulate in the body and can cause various health problems. PBDEs can disrupt hormones and thyroid function, as well as cause brain damage and cancer. In the wild, salmon gets its pink-orange color because of having a diet high in krill and shrimp. This diet makes salmon healthy and full of antioxidants. And farm-raised salmon, on the other hand, eats very differently. Farmed salmon is fed corn and soy, and these are also often genetically modified and full of glyphosate. And when instead of feeding salmon with what it normally eats in the wild, you feed salmon these crops, the salmon turns out to be gray, unhealthy, and have a whole different fatty acid profile. They basically make salmon fat, sick, and gray, and that's definitely not good for us to eat. And then to cover this up, this gray, nutrient-poor salmon is fed synthetic supplements made from petrochemicals that are not safe for human consumption, that give it its pink color back. Farm-raised salmon is full of toxins, and it's definitely not a healthy food. Then next on the list, farm-raised GMO grain-fed animal products. It is very likely that you're eating animal products that are fed GM crops. In the US and Canada, many GM crops are used to make ingredients such as cornstarch, corn syrup, corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil, or granulated sugar. And then most, if not all, non-organic animal products come from animals that are fed GM crops. And the same applies to the UK and other European countries. Most of the GM crops grown in the world are used for animal food. More than 95% of animals used for meat and dairy in the United States eat GMO crops. And then the FDA says that it doesn't affect the animal or its products in any way. However, the studies used to determine the safety are way too short. Majority of these GMO safety studies 
are only up to three months duration? Can there be some severe unknown health risks involved from eating GMO foods or GM crop fed animals? After eating these foods for 10 or 20 years? Well, we don't know and no one cares. And is it safe to feed it to animals? It's questionable. Have you heard of the famous experiment where mice were fed GMO food and they developed tons of tumors and looked like this? Mice are also animals and it didn't turn out well for them. Chickens, cows, pigs are also animals. And when they're fed these types of GM feeds, they are not healthy. And when someone tries to conduct research studies evaluating the safety of GMOs, their research is suspended immediately and results never published. Looks like they're hiding something. And the Food Standard Agency says, it is possible that the DNA fragments derived from GM plant materials may occasionally be detected in animal tissues. And the foods that we eat interact with our bodies in many different ways. Foods we eat can turn on or off different genes in our bodies. GMOs also interfere with our microbiome. I personally wouldn't risk with eating these types of foods. So anything else wrong with eating genetically modified foods or animals that are fed GM crops? A lot of things are wrong. The purpose of genetically modifying plants is to make them resistant to herbicides and pesticides such as glyphosate. This way, they can spray high amounts of this chemical and kill everything around except the GM plant. And if there are higher residues in the plant, you are also exposed to higher amounts of it. And glyphosate is a known carcinogen. And yes, the residues found in GM foods are significant enough to affect our health. I would even say that if you're on a tight budget and you can only afford GM crop-fed animal products, Cut down your animal product consumption by half, but get organic, grass-fed products at all times. Stay away from GMO foods. Next on the list, soy and soy-containing products. It's marketed as a superfood. They say it's a great meat alternative, all that kind of stuff. And it is now one of the most common ingredients in processed foods. If you're in the US, most of soy products are also genetically modified and the risks are the same as described earlier. In the UK, it's non-GMO. However, soy comes with its own negatives. Organic fermented soy products are fine, foods like tofu. But what if you consume unfermented soy products, such as soy milk, protein bars, protein powders, and meat substitutes? Unfermented soy is considered to be an antinutrient. There are nutrients that are good for us and there are antinutrients that are bad for us. Unfermented soy contains enzyme blockers that block the absorption of proteins. It also contains an antinutrient called phytic acid. This antinutrient blocks the absorption of various minerals such as iron, zinc, magnesium and potassium. Soy is a type of food that does you more harm than good. It also interferes with your hormones. I don't eat any soy and even make sure my rabbit doesn't eat anything that contains soy. I highly recommend you staying away from soy. Then next on the list of the worst foods that you should never eat again is low fat products. One of the foods that we've been told as being a healthier alternative. Let's use an example of low-fat dairy. Most yogurts have the fat removed and extra sugar and a bunch of thickeners added to compensate for the loss in taste and texture. So does low-fat dairy help you to lose weight because it has less calories? Well, no, it doesn't. It's quite the opposite. When you remove the fat and replace it by sugar, you end up eating more and your hormones regulate your body weight. So how does low-fat dairy with extra sugar affect your hormones? It spikes your fat storage hormone insulin much more than a full-fat dairy would. Fat in foods reduces this insulin spike. Sugar increases it. So if you're interested in losing weight, focus on eating natural whole foods and have enough of fat in your diet that will allow you to burn your body fat easily. 
When you eat sugar, it inhibits fat burning. I won't go into detail in this video, but you can watch my other video later, where I talk about weight loss and calories, and I discuss the laws of thermodynamics and what's wrong with calories in versus calories out. Next on the list of the most harmful foods we have to avoid is processed meat products. It includes foods such as hot dogs, ham, and pepperoni. If you would check the ingredient list, you would often be surprised of how little meat there is. And if you look deeper at what type of meat they use, you'd often find they're using animal parts such as blood vessels, eyes, and skin. And to add more volume, they add a bunch of other ingredients. And processed meat has been identified as a possible carcinogen, and I won't disagree with that. If you eat meat, stick with organic, grass-fed, unprocessed meat, and don't overcook it. And the last thing on my list of the foods that you must avoid is sugar and sugar-containing products. It's a known fact that sugar is terrible for your health. I talk about it a lot in my other videos. Sugar causes inflammation, sugar causes type 2 diabetes, dementia, heart disease, obesity, and cancer. I'll use cancer as an example to illustrate some of the mechanisms of how sugar harms us. When you eat sugar, you elevate your blood glucose and insulin. If you eat too much of sugar, like most people in the world, you have chronically elevated sugar and insulin. Tumors live on sugar. It's what they use as their fuel source. And insulin is what makes everything grow big. It's an anabolic hormone. Sugar also increases inflammation, Sugar increases oxidative damage. Sugar suppresses your immune system. When your diet consists of high amounts of sugar, it creates perfect conditions for cancer growth. And sugar is not only the obvious sources, such as sodas, cookies, and cakes. It's also foods such as honey, rice, pasta, and bread. When you eat these foods, they are broken down into sugar in your body. And if you want to learn more about sugar and you would like to quit, I suggest you to watch my video explaining how to quit sugar. So that's it. These were the top 11 foods to avoid. These are the foods that you should never eat again if you want to live a long and healthy life. These foods are toxic. They are poisonous. They will make you live less and increase your chances of getting various chronic diseases. I will leave the reference to the studies in the description of this video. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share it with people who you think would benefit from watching this, as sharing information with others can help to save their lives. And you can also support my YouTube channel by buying me a coffee or signing up for my Patreon. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.